Health alert for you tonight. It has been more than three weeks now since Verona Beach was shut down due to algal blooms. And uh, we've learned tonight it's not clear when the beach will reopen. News Channel 9's Josh Martin joins us live now. He's at Verona Beach to talk more about the impact that the algae is having there. And so odd to see an empty beach on a hot summer night. It's very odd to see a empty beach here. There's still no swimming here at Verona Beach. We talked to the State Parks and Recs Department earlier today, and they said that once the water clears up, they're going to do more testing. Now, when will that be? It didn't say. In the meantime, kids here are trying to find different ways to have fun with water. If you haven't heard the news about the Verona Beach closure, this sign will come as a surprise to you. That's what happened Wednesday to 14-year-old Bella Broadbeck and her cousins. They wanted a day for family fun in the water, but had to settle for the playground. A little disappointed. There's been no swimming for more than three weeks, but there's still water activities here. There's a spray park, and a water slide was inflated on Wednesday to give kids something to do. Over at the campground, Bonnie Armstrong is waiting for her grandkids to arrive. She had to book this site months in advance, not knowing what the water conditions would be like. They like to go in the water, but when they get here, they're kind of disappointed they can't go in the water, but they like the, the splash pad and the slide, so that pretty much does it for them. The parking lot isn't as full as usual, but there's still things to do here at Verona Beach. Bella and her cousins made the most of their family getaway day. But at least we're having a picnic. With no swimming here at Verona Beach, the demand for lifeguards isn't as high, so the state has been sending lifeguards to other state parks to try to get them hours. Over on the other side of Oneida Lake at Oneida Shores, that beach is still closed as well due to E. coli. In Verona Beach, Josh Martin, News Channel 9.